right now we've come to a time where we're going to pray for those who are sick in their physical body we're going to pray for mental we're going to pray for emotional and physical illnesses if you can um, uh, Ryan if you can put up a picture of Matthew last weekend I was in Minnesota and Matthew had a brother older brother than him who took him three months ago picked him up and dropped him on the floor and sprained his neck the guy couldn't move his neck and not only that but Matthew is I think five years of age held a huge unforgiveness toward his brother so on Sunday night after the service the parents brought him they asked me to pray for him and so before praying for him I first asked uh, me and the pastor asked if he could forgive his brother he forgave started crying and everything and then we start praying for his neck which he couldn't churn without any pain as we prayed first time you know nothing happened second time and a third time he said something just went through his neck and completely every trace of pain was removed and the little boy was healed come on somebody let's give Jesus a round of applause in our home group last Tuesday we had a lady who came and she on the badger mountain saw a white rat and sprained her her ankle so bad that she couldn't walk without pain it was swollen so she came on, on the crutches to to our home group and we prayed in our home group for her and we just told her to listen God is healing you so next day she sends me a text message and she's like hey I'm not using crutches God completely restored my ankle completely healed most somebody and so Audi she's been coming for some time and Audi tell us what happened to you what the illness that you were battling with and how on service like this the Lord healed you uh, I was battling with anemia and anemia causes like discoloration in your skin it doesn't it causes you to feel like dizzy drowsy and very tired and I didn't have a lot of energy I wasn't able to do a lot of things with my like my family or like in school activities and how long did you have that for 18 years and so what happened um, one service Vlad was telling us to put uh, our hand where our body hurt and since none of my body hurt I decided to put my hand towards my veins and I prayed and I like I was interceding and I declared that I was healed and that my blood was healed and then I went to a doctor's appointment and I asked if um, if they could check if I had anemia and then a week later the results came back and they said that my anemia was perfectly fine and my my blood level was perfect <laughs> come on come on come on somebody Come on, clap like it's, ha it's going to happen to you today in Jesus' name. Amen. Holy Spirit is here among us right now. To our first Sunday of the, of the month, we pray for healing. And we're going to pray for healing right now. I believe that Jesus has bore our infirmities and our illnesses upon himself. In his stripes, we were healed. Amen. We're going to pray for three things today. One is we're going to pray for mental illnesses or problems in the mind problems in the brain, chemical misbalance, uh, intrusive thoughts, the things that have to do with the brain. We're going to come against schizophrenia. We're going to come right now against mental illnesses that people are battling, bipolar or perhaps seizures or other things. We're just going to come against that right now, migraine, chronic migraine headaches or things that have to do with the brain in Jesus name. And so we're all going to cover our brain right now with the blood of Jesus and the fire of the Holy Spirit. Come on somebody. Amen. Those people who have tumors or lumps or different injuries in the brain, we're going to declare healing and God's Word right now in that area. Could you help me pray right now? I place your hand on your brain. Place your hand upon your head and let's begin to cover that in the blood of Jesus. I want you to say this with me. Say, my body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Say, my brain is the place for the Holy Spirit every sickness every pain any damage or any demonic spirit attacking my brain in the name of Jesus I declare healing I declare freedom I declare the glory of God to touch my brain in Jesus name right now let's begin to pray for the brain father in the name of Jesus I come against every disease that's in the brain. I come against every disease that's in the head right now in Jesus name. And I speak be healed right now. Every schizophrenia, every bipolar, multiple personality disorders, every migraine headaches, intrusive thoughts, suicidal tendencies. In the name of Jesus Christ be healed in your mind. Receive sound mind right now in Jesus mighty name. In the mighty name of Jesus I come against every sickness 
I come against every disease in the mind, in the brain, in Jesus' mighty name. I command you to be restored in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command you to be restored in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I come against every issue with chemical, chemical imbalance in the, in the brain, in the mind. And right now I command you to be restored to the normal fun functions in Jesus' mighty name. I command you to be restored in the, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I come against every intrusive thoughts. I come against every suicidal thoughts. I come against every depression. I come against every oppression in the mind. Every physical uh, dysfunction in the mind. Right now I come against you in the blood of Jesus. I come against you by the blood of Jesus. I cover the mind by the blood of Jesus. Be restored in Jesus' mighty name. I declare healing and health in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you Lord. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your mercy that you're extending to us right now in the name of Jesus. Right now we're going to pray for the emotional healing and then we're going to pray for the physical healing. I want you to place your hand on your heart. Bible says that if your emotions are not doing well, that it will manifest itself in your body. So emotional healing is the things that have to do with your emotions. It's the things that have to do with hurt, things that have to do with fear, things that have to do with anxiety, things that have to do with maybe abuse or bitterness. That there will be a healing right now. Sometimes there are devils or demons that are hiding in our emotions and causing all of that distress. Bible says that King Saul was in distress when evil spirits will come upon his emotions. And so right now we're just going to rebuke every devil and every demon out of our emotions and we're going to speak God's healing, God's peace to come in the storm in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Can you say amen with me? Amen. I want you to say that my soul belongs to Jesus. So every part of my emotions belongs to the Holy Spirit. Say and right now I come against every distressing spirit, every spirit of fear, spirit of confusion, spirit of anxiety. In the name of Jesus I break your grip. I cancel your assignment. I serve you a notice. You devil of fear. You're no longer welcome. Every nightmare and intrusive thought. In Jesus name. I speak God's healing. I speak God's peace. To come in my emotion. To come in my feelings. And begin to restore that. In Jesus name. Right now pray for your emotions. Pray for your feelings. Pray for your heart right now. Begin to speak God's healing power. For those of you who have a hard time sleeping. For those of you who have a hard time maybe just, just going through the day and you're emotionally distraught. Right now the feeling, the Holy Spirit's presence is in this room. He will cover you like a warm blanket. Just pray for your soul right now. Pray for the healing of your soul. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In the name of Jesus Christ right now I take authority over my soul, over my emotions and I command every evil out in the name of Jesus. Every hurt, every bitterness, whatever the devil is doing to affect my emotions, I break it right now. Devil get out! Devil get out of my feelings! Get out of my emotions! I command you! In the name of Jesus, every weapon formed against me, every nightmare, every feeling, every doubt, every depression, out in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, we yield our soul to you right now. Holy Spirit, I give my feelings to you. My feelings belong to Jesus. My feelings are to be loved by God. My emotions are to experience the peace of God. My emotions are to experience the love of God. And right now everything working against my emotions. I command you, I'll command it out right now. In the name of Jesus, every power holding my emotions to be broken. In the name of Jesus. Come on, lift those hands right now. Just receive God's peace. Receive God's healing. God's oil. Come on, every hand raised, every heart open. Ask God, let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Let it be done in me as it is there in heaven right now, Lord. In heaven there is no anxiety. In heaven there is no hurt. In heaven there is no reliving abusive memories. In heaven there is no flashbacks. In heaven there is no darkness. In heaven there is no nightmares. In heaven there is no phobia. In heaven there is no distress. In heaven there is no stress. Let heaven come. Let 
Let your presence come as it is in heaven. In Jesus' name, receive right now from the Holy Spirit. His presence is in this room. He's healing hearts. He's healing minds. For those of you who could not sleep well at night, in Jesus' name, you will sleep well tonight. In Jesus' name. With the sleep disorders or emotional distress, the Holy Spirit is lifting that. As you're going to walk out of this sanctuary, you will notice some light healing. It's not just a feeling. It is the Spirit of God. Right now we've come to a time where we're going to pray for physical infirmities. We're going to pray for those people who are physically ill. Who have physical um, deficiencies in their body. We believe in medicine. We believe in medical science. But they have their limits. We believe in uh, going to the doctor but it has its limits. We know that Jesus Christ is able. He created our body and He wants to see us whole in Jesus name. Can somebody say Amen. We pray in our church all the time for the sick and today is a special service. I believe that God is going to heal people today in this room. It might not be everybody but it will be somebody and that somebody can be you. Come on somebody. Amen. Amen. And so I'm going to give you a simple instruction. I want you to look to Jesus and I want you to imagine that whatever you're battling with has already been taken on the cross. And secondly, we're going to invite the Holy Spirit and we're going to pray the prayer of faith and we're going to believe that the Lord will manifest His power in Jesus' name. Amen. I ask you that you place your hand upon the part of your body where you feel pain right now. Place your hand upon the part of your body where it ails you. I'm going to invite the Holy Spirit and then we're going to pray a prayer of declaration and believe that miracles will take place in this room because we're the body of Jesus and nothing is impossible to God. Precious Holy Spirit, come right now. Come. Come with your anointing. Come with your gifts. Come with your grace. Descend in this room. The bodies that are hurting, it's your address, it's your dwelling place. Come with your grace and with your fire. In Jesus' name. With your hand upon the part of your body where there is pain. I want you to say this with me once again. Say, this body doesn't belong to sickness. Say, this body belongs to Jesus. And I command every pain, every disorder, every wrong thing to be changed in Jesus' name. I come against every spirit of infirmity, every pain and I command you to leave my body. I command my body to relax and to receive God's healing touch. In the name of Jesus, I speak healing right now into the back pain, into the lower back in Jesus' name. I speak healing into the muscles. In the name of Jesus, I speak healing right now into the nerves. In Jesus' name, I speak healing into everything that has to do with your stomach. I break every curse of gastritis, everything with asthma and arthritis in Jesus' mighty name. In your joints, in your knees, in your ankles, in your elbows, in your shoulder, in the lower neck. In the name of Jesus, every ear infection, every nearsightedness or, or the things that problem with the eyes. I speak God's healing right now. Come on, begin to pray for your body right now. Begin to speak God's healing right now. Begin to speak the power of Jesus to manifest right now in Jesus mighty name. Yes Father we begin to speak your life into their bones, your life into their cells, into their muscle tissues, into their fluids, into their blood in the name of Jesus. Everything pain, every infirmity, every sickness right now we come against you in the name of Jesus Christ. We begin to speak life into your heart. We begin to speak a life into that liver, into that kidney, into that skin, into those bones, into those eyes, into those ears, into that stomach into that digestive system in the name of Jesus Christ Father we speak Father your restoration in Jesus mighty let the life of God right now come and restore everything that's been ruptured everything has been broken everything has been dislocated everything that's been torn in the name of Jesus we speak a life into it right now in Jesus mighty name in Jesus name. Jesus name we pray I want you to right now test the part of your body where you had pain for those of you who have a problem with your neck, I want you to move it. You have a problem with your back, just, just bend. A lot of times as you exercise your faith, this is where God can do something. If you notice that the pain decreased or it's gone, I want you to wave your hand at me. 
if you notice that it's gone I see somebody there okay okay I see somebody here okay okay um, okay praise God I'm gonna do one more prayer and in this prayer those of you who have a pain that you feel in your body right now I want you to if it's no, no pressure but if you have that and you feel that could you raise your hand okay okay and you feel a special problem to back okay so if we can have our, our interns and our, the team that uh, prays for the sake if we could just surround them for just a moment there's a, there's a lady in the back over there so I want us to, to pray for her as well I'm gonna pray a 30 second prayer so um, if we can quickly just just go in and, and uh, surround them uh, Tim in the back and so I want you to ask him what is their pain and what's their level of their pain and then we're gonna pray for 30 seconds we're gonna command that pain to leave in Jesus name there's a if, if you if you still have it just if nobody came up to you just raise your hand we're gonna have somebody come up to you there was a girl uh, there's a person behind you okay let's pray 30 seconds and so everybody else let's pray too as well in Jesus name we speak healing to come right now into the parts of the body where there was sickness where there was pain in the name of Jesus Christ every problem to be loosed right now the spirit of of infirmity to loose those people in the name of Jesus Christ we speak God's blessing we speak God's healing in Jesus name receive right now by the blood of Jesus amen 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 those of you who receive the prayer I want you to test your body it's fine just, just test your body go ahead Trish and then to test your body and the lady over there if you notice the uh, if you notice that the pain is gone during the second prayer, I want you to wave it. If you notice that the pain is gone, I want you to, we're going to do one more, one more prayer. Okay, we're going to do one more prayer. So I want us to pray one more time. But guys, let's listen up to the instruction. Uh, Ivan and whoever's praying for Mark, are you okay now? Is, is still need? Okay. In this prayer, we're not asking, we're not commanding. I want us to thank God for the feeling for the healing that's already manifesting that's all and so and the same thing for that lady I want us to pray with her just simply begin to thank God don't ask and don't command just begin to thank God that God is manifesting his healing in Jesus name let's pray Father we thank you that through the stripes of Jesus our healing was already perfected we thank you Father that you created these people not to live in pain you created these people not to walk in infirmity but you want them to walk in total health for your glory and we thank you that Holy Spirit is moving we thank you that the blood of Jesus is enough that the cross is enough and you're manifesting your glory right now Lord we worship you and we honor you in Jesus name come on for 30 seconds lift those hands right now every person from the back to the front and just begin to just thank you right now just begin to say yours is the kingdom yours is the glory as you're doing that you're releasing that you're releasing every pain right now you're releasing that back pain you're releasing the joint pain right now as you're saying that just release that take your eyes off of yourself and unto Jesus and the Holy Spirit's presence is flowing the Holy Spirit's presence is flowing Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Come on. Come on. Come on. Every hand raised. Fill this place with praise of God. Fill this place with adoration of Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, one more time. Yours is the kingdom. Yours is the power. Yours is the glory. somebody let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ come on somebody let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ